Raw Mass Challenge number 8. For more information, you should watch the beginning of Raw Mass Challenge number 1. The basics are you're not allowed any calculating devices or measuring implements such as rulers and protractors. All you should need is a pencil and a piece of paper. Pause the video now and have a go at these warm-up questions. OK, let's get started with the junior warm-up. So, which one is the odd one out? Let's just work them through. So 2 times the square root of 64, so that's 2 times 8, which is 16. This question I'm going to leave till last. 2 to the power of 4 is 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 2, which is 16. 5 squared minus 3 squared is 25, take away 9, which is 16. And this one, like this one, relies on you knowing which order to do things. So we're supposed to do multiplying before adding or subtracting. So we need to work out 4 times 2 which is 8 and then add the 4 to that or 4 plus that. In this one we need to work out that this is 6 and take it away from 22. Now if you hadn't done that then you would have worked out that this one would be 16 because you've done 4 plus 4 is 8 times 2 is 16 but in fact that one is 12 so there's a little bit of a trick there this one is the 16 so E is the odd one out in the intermediate warm-up which of the following expressions is equal to 2005 so if we just work them out 1 squared plus 1 is 2 10 squared is 100 plus 1 is 101 2 lots of 101 is not 2005. This one, four, uh, 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is 5. 20 squared is 400 plus 1 is 401. And 5 400 is 2005. Let's just have a look at the others. 3 squared is 9 plus 1 is 10. 30 squared is 900 um, plus 1 is 901. So that's going to be 9010. 4 squared plus 1 is 17, 40 squared plus 1, 4 fours is 16 with two zeros, and you add the 1, so it's going to be 17 times 1601, much too big. 25 plus 1 is 26, times by 50 squared, which is 2501, uh, 2, so the one that works is B. And the senior one, what is the value of this expression? So we've got square roots. Always start in the deepest part of the question when you've got multiple square roots or multiple fractions and things like that. So we're going to start down here, 3 to the power of 4 square rooted. Now the square root of anything to the power of 4 is just that thing to the power of 3 because 3 squared times 3 squared is 3 to the power of 4. So the square root of 3 to the power of 4, what times by itself is 3 to the power of 4, is 3 squared. So the square root of 3 to the 4 is 3 squared, so we're left with the square root of 2 to the 4 plus 3 squared. 2 to the power of 4, um, we did that up there with 16, and 3 squared is 9, so that's the square root of 25, which is 5 is C. Junior Trick C from Raw Mass Challenge number 7. If you haven't had a go at this question yet, pause the video and try it now. OK, so we've got a coded question. Each letter represents a code. Uh, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And then we're going to multiply the numbers, the codes for each letter to make the code for the whole word. Now I'll give you an example for square, but this is the key one, rectangle, because when we're trying to find the code for triangle, you can see that part of it's repeated. The angle part is repeated, the T is repeated, and the R is repeated. The only difference is in triangle we have an I, and in rectangle we have E, C. So if we figure out what the difference between those two things are, now let me just bring in the code I've written down here. I can select it. OK, so that's the code for the first few nine letters. So E times C, E is going to be 5 and C is going to be 3, so that makes 15. I is the number 9. 
So, rectangle would be the same as triangle, except for we've times by 15 instead of 9. So, um, thinking about that, we need to think that uh, 9 is equal to 3 times 3. So if I take the 3 bit out, the only difference is, is for rectangle we've times by 5, and we should have times by 3. So we need to divide um, that number by 5 and then times it by 3. Um, and we, we probably don't need to do that exactly. If I divide three, 30 million by 5, I'm looking at about 6 million. And 6 million times by 3 is about 18 million. And any one of these which is close to 18 million, million is C. So you could just circle C. You could work it out exactly, but I don't really see the point in that. Intermediate trick C from Raw Mass Challenge number 7. If you haven't had a go at this question yet, pause the video and give it a try now. Okay, so we are dealing with an approximation question. We don't have to be exact, so try not to, to worry too much about the details. So if we're looking at this value here, so again 21.45, we're going to just use 20 grams per centimetre cube. Instead of 110, we're just going to use 100. And everything else is quite nice anyway. So, working our way up, we n we want to work out how much volume is 100 tonnes. And then times that by 50 at the number of years. So, if we know there's 20 grams is equal to 1 centimetre cube, that's what 20 grams per centimetre cube tells us, then 1,000 grams, or 1 kilogram, it's going to be approximately equal to um, 50 times 20, so 50 times 1, so 50 centimetres cube. So 1 kilogram is about 50 centimetres cube, so 1 tonne, metric tonne, is 1,000 kilograms. So it's going to be 1,000 times 50, so 50,000 centimetres cube. And we want 100, well we want 110, but we'll just use 100 tonnes it's going to be 100 times 50,000, which is 5 million centimetres cubed. Now that sounds like quite a lot, but if we think about how many metres cubed that is, if we think about a metre cube, then if this is 100 centimetres by 100 centimetres by 100 centimetres, how many centimetres in that metre cube? Well, that's 100 times 100, which is 10,000, times 100, which is a million. So, 1 million centimetres cubed equals 1 metre cube. So, that's only 5 metre cubes. So, that's 5 1 metre by 1 metre cubes. Now, that's each year for the past 50 years. So, 50 years is going to be 50 times 5. It's going to be 250 meters cubed. Again, it sounds quite a lot, but if we break it down into a box, think about how big the sides might be. Well, 25, 250 is break, made up of 25 times 10. So if I take a 10 out and call the long side 10, and the 25 can be the end bit, which is 5 times 5. So it's 10 meters, roughly, by 5 meters by 5 meters. And that is probably about the size of a, a medium-sized house. So, a house. Senior Trixie from Raw Mass Challenge number 7. If you haven't had a go at this question yet, pause the video and give it a try now. But you will need to know a little bit of trigonometry to be able to do this. OK. Essentially, we just need to work out the one glass pane, and this is an approximation question, so we don't need to be exact. So I'm going to do 6,000 divided by 3,000, because they're about just over 3,000 panes, 6,000 metres squares. So we're going to talk about 2 metres square uh, per pane. Now, a pane of glass, they're told, said they are equilateral triangles, so they have the same sides. To work out the area of the triangle, which we know is t roughly 2 metres squared, we need to um, work out the height. We know that we're going to call the base x, and that's what we're trying to find. 
we need to know the height in terms of x. Now we know that it's right to uh, equilateral, so it's 60 degrees. So this side here is um, x times the sine of 60. If you, you can work that out uh, using the trigonometry sine 60 equals opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite side is going to be x times the sine of 60. The sine of 60 is root 3 upon 2. So we've got x lots of root 3 upon 2. And we need to times that by the base and halve it. So the area of the triangle is going to be the base, which is x, times by the x root 3 upon 2. Let's not actually use a time sign. Let's use a dot to represent multiplying. I'm doing GCSE maths too long. Um, and then we're going to half that. So we need to times that by our... Oh, done it again. We need to times that by a half. So what do we get? We get a half um, times a half which is a quarter x squared times root 3. So a quarter x squared times root 3. Now that's going to be equal to 2 meters squared. So if I times by the if I, if I divide by a quarter or times by 4 I get 8 is equal to x squared root 3. So that implies that uh, x squared is 8 over root 3. Now root 3 is somewhere between 1 and 2. It's quite close to 2 though. So if we call it 2 and do 8 divided by that we get 4. So x is just going to be the square root of 4 which is approximately, well in this case approximately 2. So c. And finally some new tricksy questions to keep you busy until next time. Please feel free to post your thoughts on the solutions to these questions in the comments section on YouTube. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you want to check your answers, subscribe to Raw Maths on YouTube so you can find out when I post the next video which will have the solutions to these questions. So until next time, good luck.